Air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. These two cards right here make a lot of sense for me. We're starting off with gaslighting. Somebody who can be manipulative. It does say manipulation and blame, toxic and abusive. And then we've got the Knight of Wands coming up in the reverse, which represents someone who is abusive. So that makes sense here why that's presenting itself in that way. We've got chain, holding on, staying put, hopeful. So this is interesting because the Four of Cups represents disconnectedness and a missed opportunity. And so if you felt that perhaps you were holding on to somebody hoping that they would change, that they wouldn't be abusive, and hopefully that wasn't physical abuse, but they could have also been very manipulative as we can see here. And hopefully by now you would have already moved on to someone better than this person. I'm just feeling a couple of scenarios here and then we've got the Hermit card presenting itself here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo specifically and it's right next to life partner growing old together. So some of you guys might have needed to spend time on your own in order to prepare yourself for this type of connection here and you might ultimately find that you connect with somebody that's more romantic, somebody who follows their heart, somebody who means business when it comes to love and romance and not somebody who's going to be treating you in this way. We also have the Muse card, You Inspire Me, body, mind, and soul, driving force, and perhaps that's how they see you, that you are the driving force in their life, and maybe they can't imagine a life without you, and we've got the Ten of Cups right here, where this can represent a dream that can manifest for you. This represents divine love between two people who have the capability to grow old together. This can be representing things that come together for you, you know, marriages, things falling into place, harmonious partnerships. And it's interesting that we've got these two cards right here. So this one says captive. What beliefs are holding you captive? Can you let them go? They are not even real. Stop giving them life. So if someone was being, for example, mentally abusive towards you and they're just telling you things that you know are not real, it's time for you to break free from that type of mentality and claim your independence right here. And it says you never needed anyone else to define you or make you worthy. If you have to go at it alone, you can do this. You are your own best friend, your own hero, your own warrior. And I really feel that makes sense because we've got that hermit card. In order for you to find your independence, you needed to perhaps regroup and do some soul searching to be able to move forward from somebody who really didn't treat you right.